Here we're going to look at a nice and quick number theory problem from the 2005 International Math Olympiad. So this is question four. So our goal is to show that for all primes p, there is a natural number n that is a positive integer such that 2 to the n plus 3 to the n plus 6 to the n minus 1 is divisible by p. In other words, it's a multiple of p. So I haven't written hints on the board because these hints will kind of give it away if you have some no knowledge in number theory. So if you want to pause the video and give this a go now, now would be the time. And then I'll give some hints out. Okay, so if you want to see the hints and try the problem with the hints, here they are. So the first one is to use Fermat's little theorem. And that says for all a that are not divisible by p, where p is a prime, we have that a to the p minus one is congruent to one mod p. So this is essentially talking about the possible orders of elements in fields with p numbers of elements. So that quickly implies that a to the p minus 2 is congruent to a inverse mod p. And we can get that just by multiplying both sides of this congruence with a inverse, keeping in mind that we know that everything which is not a multiple of p is invertible mod p. Then my next hint is that in q, we have 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 sixth equals 1. And thus, 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 sixth minus 1 equals 0. So now let's jump into the solution. OK, so now we're ready for a solution. And since in these terms right here, this 2 to the n, 3 to the n, and 6 to the n, we have the prime factors 2 and 3, we can't really use Fermat's little theorem. So that means we need to look at those cases on their own. So let's look at the case when the prime is equal to 2. Because we want to show that this kind of thing is possible for any prime. Well, that means that this should be a multiple of 2 if we choose n carefully. So let's see, how can we choose n? Well, a bunch of choices for n will work. In fact, I believe that any choice for n that will work because you'll have an even number, an even number, an odd number minus 1. And so, for instance, if we set n equal to 1, we will have 2 plus 3 plus 6 minus 1. So what's that? That's going to be 11 minus 1, which is 10. But 10 is equal to 2 times 5. In other words, it's a multiple of 2. So we're good to go there. Now let's look at p equals 3. And I think maybe you can play around with this a little bit, but it, what works here is n equals 4. So let's see that happen. So if we take n equal to 4, we have 2 to the 4 plus 3 to the 4 plus 6 to the 4 minus 1. Now we could multiply all that out, but we don't really need to. Notice that this is equal to 16, 2 to the 4 is 16 minus 1 plus 3 to the 4 times 1 plus 2 to the 4. I just factored a 3 to the 4 out of each of those terms. So check it out, that's going to be equal to 15. So I can take a 3 out of that and then I have a 5 plus 3 to the 3 and then notice that this is going to be 17. So we don't really care about exactly what this number is, like expand it out. All we care about is this is a multiple of 3 and it is. Okay, so now let's look at the general case. Okay, now we're ready to launch into the general case. In other words, the case when p is bigger than 3. So this case can be done all at once using Fermat's little theorem and the trick that I said in the hint because the only primes exhibited in this object are 2 and 3. Okay, so let's maybe go ahead and point out what the idea is. So the idea is to replicate this equation, half plus third plus sixth minus one mod p. Or in other words, in the finite field with p elements. We could call that fp if we wanted to. All right, well, generally we don't write fractions modulo p or even in fp, although we could. Generally, we write these as negative exponents. So what we want to look at is 2 to the minus 1 plus 3 to the minus 1 plus 6 to the minus 1 minus 1. And again, all of this is happening mod our prime p. So we can use Fermat's little theorem along with that slight tweak to Fermat's little theorem that says a to the p minus 2 is congruent to a inverse 
mod p to write each of these with natural number exponents instead of negative exponents. And that's exactly what we'll do. So we can write this 2 to the minus 1 as 2 to the p minus 2. We can write this 3 to the minus 1 as 3 to the p minus 2. This is 6 to the p minus 2 minus 1. This is all happening mod p. So this is congruent to that mod p. Again, using this Fermat's little theorem here, we know that these are all natural numbers because p is bigger than 3. So hopefully this is congruent to 0 mod p, because if it's congruent to 0 mod p, that means that this object right here is a multiple of p, and then we're done. Now let's factor a 6 to the p minus 2 out of these first three terms and see what we get. So we'll have 6 to the p minus 2, then notice the 2 to the p minus 2 is factored out, and we're going to be left with a 3 to the p minus 2 inverse. Because notice, like, we're factoring something that isn't there, thinking about this 6 as 3 times 2. Then the same thing goes here. So we'll factor a 3 to the p minus 2 is coming out, but then we have a 2 to the p minus 2 inverse, which is staying inside. And then finally, we'll have plus 1 here, and then minus 1, and then this is all occurring mod p. Great. But now we can apply for Ma's little theorem again to see that this is going to be 3 inverse inverse, and then this is 2 inverse inverse. So 3 inverse inverse is just going to be 3. So just by the multiplicative inverse modulo p, the same thing with 2 inverse. So we're left with 6 to the p minus 2. And then we'll have 3 plus 2 plus 1. And then minus 1, because that's still on the outside. But these three numbers add up to 6, obviously. And then we have 6 to the p minus 2 times 6. So that's going to give us 6 to the p minus 1 minus 1. But then by Fermat's little theorem, we know 6 to the p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p. So that means we have 1 minus 1 mod p, or we have 0 mod p. So in the end, what that tells us is that this object right here is a multiple of p. And that's a good place to stop.